And this is just the beginning of what some of those versatile technologies have to offer. Anything that's being made by bacteria or yeast or algae, industrial biotechnology, you know, has had its genome engineered using CRISPR. We can use those things to make better humans. We can use those things to make better animals. We can use those things to make better bacteria. Uh, but therapeutics is obviously where the big market pool is. And I just checked uh, about a half hour ago, the market cap of the first four CRISPR companies that came to the market, the market value today on the NASDAQ in excess of $10 billion. This is a, a revolutionary change, a game changer for food, for ag, for therapeutics, and for environmental stewardship. And we now have perhaps a million scientists in the world using that technology every day. To and at the same time, markets that are pulling that technology because there's a need for a more sustainable food supply chain. There's a need for more personalized medicines, and there's a need for environmental stewardship and breeding better for us. Though it's only maybe 10 years old, and this powerful technology is maybe not limited by what we can do with it, but rather how readily and easily it will be regulated and accepted by the public. Maybe imagination is our only technical limit that we have today and that the public is ready to accept and consume those therapies and those technologies. And if we look forward to the future, we need to preemptively put in place criteria, put in place think tanks, put in place groups that engage in dialogue with regards to how comfortable or not we are about this, how safe or not those technologies are, and how readily they can be implemented, not just in academia, not just in one or two companies doing safe clinical trials, but across the planet and across the globe. I mean, how often does medicine work the first time we do it? Unbelievable, right? But we sadly live in an era where anti-science bias still exists, right? skepticism of the whole research industry, the academic industry, there's an important aspect for all team science members to learn to communicate, to talk about science, and to promote the advancement of science. 